Hey everybody out there. It's nice and sunny. It's not raining out here in uh, California. In Florida, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And I'm at my house right now and I'm going to show you what I do every time I do a, a, a project, especially when it deals with wood. Um, let me show you right here. This is it right over here. I have many tops made. <laughs> many tops, bottoms, soundboards. Uh, this over here, this is the rim of the piano, everybody. This is bendable plywood. It's the rim of the piano. So I'm going to dissect this rim and I'm going to put it on my new, um, my new digital. Now, the thing about it, hey, Alan, how you doing? <laughs> now, the thing about it is that this is only made for like a six foot cabinet. So it's a six foot cabinet right there. It's a pretty nice cabinet. But um, I wanted something a little bit bigger. As you can see, those are the old tops. So the wood, it doesn't go to waste, everybody. The wood um, gets actually recycled into the new piano. Whatever I need, whatever parts I need. Um, this is the frame of from that right there. And this over here, this was a side cheeks. Now, I originally made it a 61 key, then I made it a 76 key, and now I'm making it a full 88. So right over here, this is two pieces actually this is the top and the bottom so um the bottom one is actually on top and the the top of the piano is on the bottom what i mean by that is that the top of the piano that's going to be the lid so i made the lid a little bit extra like probably an inch more going around the whole frame of the piano now as you can see it splits off into uh, pieces right here. So there's two pieces right there, which I have to glue. Uh, so that's gonna be the next process. I have to glue um, those together, and then I have to shape them. After, after I glue them, then I have to actually shape it, and I have to sand the rim down, make sure it looks 10 times better than what it does, make sure it kinda almost looks factory. But um, yeah, that's it right there. These over here, these are the cheeks of the piano. So, I have to redesign the cheeks and um, it's weird because little little pieces um, it's gonna look like a real piano after I'm finished with it everybody so just wanted to show you this is this is gonna be a really cool project this is gonna be a very very expensive project now if you can see how I'm putting that rim together this is actually a flip side because what happened is that all these little parts right here I gotta take apart again and what I have to do is basically I have to um, I have to take it apart again, and um, what was I going to say I have to put it on the bottom side of the new uh, platform. That's the old platform right there. So from the old platform going to the new platform. Uh, now you could say I don't have enough bendable plywood. This right over here. This is one long piece of wood right over here. So with the contagran, all I need to do is take little parts right here because the rest is long. The rest is long. And then, you know, I'll shape it up with another piece of uh, bendable plywood, which I'll get later. But yeah, this is the new footprint, everybody. This is how big this piano is going to be. And I am just so super, super, super excited, everybody. I can't believe it's coming out really nicely. Um, so after, after, it's, um, after it's done, it's going to look like a real piano. By the way, a lot of people are going to ask me, what am I... What am I putting inside of it what am I putting a Yamaha a Casio a Williams no actually I decided to put my Roland um, RG7 digital grand piano and I can show you that real quick once we walk into the house and the lighting is kind of a little bit bad here but let me see if I could put this up right there there we go the Roland RG7 digital piano is this digital grand piano right here. Now you'd be like, you're gonna be like, Chris, why are you taking a part of a really good p digital grand piano? Um, and also the reason, and I'm gonna explain, the reason of that is because um, that I'm taking a part is that it's gonna be a concert grand. It's not gonna be a baby grand anymore. And since I'm building the grand piano model, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, um, how do you say it? I'm going to upgrade it. So instead of me having two digital pianos, because look how many pianos I have. I got one, two, three, four, five, not including the ones in the room. Uh, there's six, 
that one over there underneath there that's six that's a k nicholson and there's seven there's seven right there so um and plus i got my my other digital which is right over there i got my u1 in my room i got other keyboards so i'm trying to um eliminate um you know clutter and basically just make a little bit more space so i'm like let me get this let me get this digital concert grand that i always wanted to build and i'll be happy if i build it myself it came from me and you know that's how it is so a lot more measurements i have to do everybody a lot more cutting and a lot more drilling um i'm gonna be out here all week until friday friday i'm leaving so actually i'm gonna be out here until like thursday thursday night i'm not gonna be out here all right, everybody. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.